Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be talking about reasons why you shouldn't move to Albuquerque unless you could handle these couple of things. Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Eli and if this is your first time tuning into the channel, welcome do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe and notification bell down at the bottom because we are bringing videos like this to you guys every week just talking about the different things that we got going on here in the beautiful state of new mexico and aside from doing that i am also a licensed broker down here in albuquerque and i service the surrounding area so that number popping up on the screen is my direct line so if there's anything i could ever help you guys out with feel free to reach out because i am the guy that answers all the calls texts, emails you name it Hit me up because I love to help. Yo, I don't want to sound like a negative Nancy, but we do have some things that you might want to consider before you move down here. And in this list, I talk about those kinds of things. And if I miss something, I apologize ahead of time. So let's get right into it. All right, cool. Albuquerque's filled with sunshine. We get 300 plus days of sunshine. But what they don't tell you is that Sometimes as that sunshine comes with rain and snow. It's pretty weird. It'll be nice and sunny and it'll start raining out of nowhere. If you haven't ever experienced that, it can be raining uh, and be sunny at 7. And then by the time, you know, noon comes around, there's no more rain, right? It's like one of those sporadic things kind of tends to happen when you're living down here and you're kind of used to it. We got a running joke down here that we say, hey, you kind of get the weather based off of your zip code. And it's very true because... I can get, you know, being pummeled with snow. And then when I call my mom on the south side, she's like, yeah, we haven't seen any snow down here. So it's pretty cool, pretty weird. And if, you know, that's not something that you're kind of like too deterred by, hey, it's very minimal when you get down to it. We're, we're not experiencing, you know, three feet of snow. The, the high winds are only here for a couple of days out of the year. And the rain is, you know, very so often. You don't want to overlook this one here because... Again, with the zip code thing, there is some pockets here in Albuquerque where things get a little bit more pricier and get a little bit more expensive, especially when it comes to housing. People are paying premium dollar for all depending where the house sits, right? It's not the house usually, it's the location that bumps up that price. People are paying that premium just to live in those areas like the North Valley, East Mountains, Taylor Ranch and the West Side the south valley deep in the south valley where you know some of those old rural farms are people are wanting more land and those kinds of things so they're paying a premium price just to get it so be mindful of that and just kind of look around and you know judge where you're looking on those on the home sites and just make the judgment when you're looking at the different home searches of hey usually a three bedroom three uh three bedroom two house goes for this much in this area and you know talk to your local real estate agent to see what they can do to do you know, guide you in the right directions for the house that you need. Yo, this one's a super cool one because you're going to notice when you get here and you start talking to people and start interacting with people, you're going to get, you know, these different attitudes, these different ideas and the different interactions that you're going to deal with. You're going to notice that we have our own language, basically. We have an accent and you're going to notice that, hey, we're a little bit rough around the edges. We're tough. But as soon as you break through that barrier of trust and we, you gain our trust and we bring you in, we adopt you as one of our own, it's kind of hard to leave that circle. We love you, you know, we love you and consider you a part of our family. It's one of those things like, hey, you can be friends with somebody for years and they become an uncle to your kids, that kind of thing. It's super cool. I love that vibe. So just be aware that we have that going down here for us. By far, the biggest mistake that I see everybody do is not research their neighborhood. They don't get with somebody that's local or drive around, get a feel for the neighborhood when they move down here because, hey, this place looks great online. And when they get here, different. Your neighbor has chickens and goats and you might got a neighbor uh, cow. Those kinds of things. So do your research before you move down here. If you've got an agent that you're working with, ask him, like, hey, this is what I'm looking for. Where is the best neighborhoods for X, right? So family-oriented neighborhoods, you want to have some rural farmland, you want to do that, you want to live close to this, uh, close to the university, whatever it is, do your research. 
And if there's an agent out there that it can help you out, not gonna, not gonna plug anybody in, but I'm here to help you. All right, guys, short list. We talked a little bit about everything that we got going down here for us. So if the culture and the vibe that we have going down here for you guys is what you're looking for, hey, we're ready to accept you with opening arms. And aside from accepting you with opening arms, I am also a local real estate agent here in Albuquerque and that number popping up on the screen is my direct line. And aside from doing these videos, I would love to also help you out with your real estate needs. So feel free to reach out anytime I can help out with anything. Well, that concludes today's video. So I'll check you guys on the next one.